Google didn't just announce new products. They essentially declared war on every other AI company, web designer, and content creator on the planet. We're talking about the most aggressive AI power play we've ever witnessed, complete with models that crush OpenAI's benchmarks, agents that can literally use websites for you, and tools that might make entire professions obsolete. Oh, and by the way, they want $249 per month. Before we dive into the technical tsunami that just hit our industry, let me ask you something. How many AI subscriptions are you currently paying for? DeepSeek? ChatGPT+, GitHub Copilot, maybe Cursor, and Claude? If you're like most cool developers, you're probably already spending more on AI tools than your monthly coffee budget, and that's saying something. Well, Google just looked at your wallet and said, hold my Mountain View brewed kombucha, because they're about to make all those other subscriptions look like pocket change. But here's the thing. This isn't just about money. This is about Google fundamentally reshaping what it means to be a developer, designer, or content creator in 2025. The announcements from IO aren't just product updates. They're a preview of how radically different our daily workflows are about to become. So, what's the technical problem? Let's establish what Google I.O. represents in our industry. This isn't just another tech conference. It's Google's annual declaration of where they think technology should go. And historically, when Google makes these declarations, the entire tech ecosystem follows. The 2025 event wasn't just about showcasing new features. It was about Google positioning itself as the definitive leader in the AI agent revolution. The underlying challenge Google is addressing is the fragmentation in AI capabilities. While we've had impressive language models, image generators, and coding assistants, they've all existed in silos. Google's play here is creating an integrated ecosystem where AI doesn't just respond to prompts, it actively participates in your entire digital workflow. So, what's at stake? Here's what makes this announcement absolutely critical for our careers and industry. We're not just watching Google release new models, we're watching them potentially redefine entire professional categories. When Google announces tools that can design UIs automatically, navigate websites autonomously, and generate cinematic content from simple descriptions, they're not just showing off cool technology. They're fundamentally challenging the assumption that certain types of creative and technical work will always require human expertise. The stakes couldn't be higher because Google has the distribution power to make these tools ubiquitous or appearing almost overnight. When they integrate this technology into Chrome, Android, and their entire ecosystem, they're not just offering alternatives to existing tools, they're potentially making traditional approaches quite obsolete. Now the solution reveal. So what exactly did Google unleash on the developer community? Let's break down the 11 game-changing announcements that are about to reshape our industry. The centerpiece is Gemini 2.5 DeepThink, which Google claims has crushed every other reasoning model, including OpenAI's O3, across all benchmark categories. But here's where it gets really super expensive. To access the full capabilities, you'll need Google's new AI Ultra subscription at $125 per month for three months, then $249 monthly afterward, although they're sweetening the deal with 30 terabytes of storage. But we're talking about mortgage-level AI subscription costs. The browser integration represents a fundamental shift in how we interact with the web. Gemini's new agent mode, formerly Project Mariner, will soon operate directly within Chrome, capable of clicking buttons, filling forms, and navigating websites autonomously. This isn't just automation, it's AI that can actually use websites the way humans do. For developers specifically, the introduction of Google's Stitch and Jules represents a direct challenge to traditional web development workflows. Stitch automatically generates and designs user interfaces, while Jules functions as an asynchronous coding agent that can build other AI agents. The implications for front-end development and UI UX design are staggering. And the release of Gemma 3N provides an interesting open-source alternative, approaching Claude Sonnet 3.7 performance levels. This gives developers the opportunity to integrate competitive AI capabilities into their own products without the subscription overhead. So what's the challenge? I know what many of you are thinking right now. This sounds like typical Google hype train nonsense. Remember Google Wave, Google Plus, how many promising Google projects have been killed over the years? And honestly, that skepticism is completely warranted. Google has a notorious track record of launching ambitious projects only to abandon them when they don't immediately dominate the market. But here's why this feels different and why even the skeptics should pay attention. Google's support for the model context protocol suggests they're building for ecosystem integration rather than proprietary lock-in. This is unusual for Google. Typically, they'd invent their own incompatible standard 
and then wonder why nobody adopts it. The fact that they're embracing existing protocols indicates a level of strategic maturity we haven't seen from them before. Now let's discuss about the new advanced technical capabilities. The more futuristic announcements reveal Google's longer-term vision for AI integration. Project Astra processes live video feeds with low-latency AI analysis, essentially turning your camera into an intelligent visual interface. The practical applications extend far beyond identifying edible plants. We're talking about real-time visual debugging, architectural analysis, and contextual code review based on what the AI can see on your screen. The Android XR Glasses integration suggests Google is positioning this technology to compete directly with Meta's smart glasses and Apple's rumored AR initiatives. For developers, this opens entirely new categories of applications and user experiences. Google's Project Beam's 2D to 3D video transformation technology might seem like a novelty, but consider the implications for remote development work, code review sessions, and technical presentations. The ability to transform flat video calls into immersive 3D experiences could fundamentally change how distributed teams collaborate. And the upgrades to VO and Imagine 3, particularly the addition of synchronized audio generation, represent a massive leap in multimodal AI capabilities. The new Flow tool, targeted at Hollywood Studios, suggests Google is positioning these capabilities for professional content creation at scale. Now, which are the unexpected developer wins? Among all the AI announcements, Google quietly delivered something that will immediately impact every web developer's daily workflow, CSS carousel primitives. This might seem trivial compared to the AI bombshells, but the ability to build carousels with a few hundred lines of CSS instead of thousands of lines of jQuery represents the kind of practical developer experience improvement that actually matters in day-to-day -day work. So let's now discuss about the speculation and industry implications. This 2025 Google I.O. represents a potential inflection point for any industry segment. I mean absolutely any industry. If Google successfully integrates these AI capabilities across their ecosystem, we're looking at a future where the line between human-created AI-generated content becomes increasingly blurred. The agent-first approach suggests we're moving toward a workflow paradigm where AI doesn't just assist with development tasks, it actively participates in the entire development life cycle. Just imagine AI agents that can attend your stand-ups or short daily meetings, review pull requests, and even negotiate with client requirements, while you focus on architectural decisions and creative problem solving. The pricing model reveals Google's belief that advanced AI capabilities will become essential business infrastructure rather than optional productivity tools. Organizations that can afford $249 monthly subscriptions will have access to capabilities that could provide significant competitive advantages over those relying on free or cheaper alternatives. For individual developers, this creates both opportunities and challenges. Those who can effectively leverage these AI tools might achieve unprecedented productivity levels, while those who resist adoption might find themselves at an increasing disadvantage in the job market. So now let's synthesize what we've learned and what it means for your development career and daily workflow. There are four key learnings. First, Google has positioned itself as the most aggressive player in the AI agent space with tools that directly challenge traditional development and design workflows. Second, the pricing model reveals that advanced AI capabilities are transitioning from experimental tools to premium business infrastructure. Third, Google's embrace of open protocols like the Model Context Protocol suggests a more mature approach to ecosystem building than we've seen historically. Fourth, the integration across Google's entire ecosystem means these capabilities will achieve massive distribution almost immediately upon release. Now let's discuss about the immediate implications. Your current AI toolchain is about to become significantly more expensive if you want access to cutting-edge capabilities. Start budgeting for the reality that professional-grade AI tools will cost hundreds of dollars monthly. And very important, begin experimenting with AI agents and browser automation now, because these workflows will become standard practice within the next year. Because just consider how your current projects and client work might be enhanced or threatened by tools that can automatically generate UIs and navigate websites autonomously. And what would be the long-term impact? Impact. Here it is. We're witnessing the early stages of a fundamental shift in how digital products are created and maintained. The traditional boundaries between developer, designer, and content creator are blurring as AI tools become capable of handling tasks across all these disciplines. The competitive advantage will increasingly belong to professionals who can effectively orchestrate AI capabilities rather than those who manually perform tasks that AI can automate. Organizations and individuals who adapt quickly to agent-based workflows will likely dominate their respective markets. So what about the new actionable takeaways? As soon as possible, start learning 
learning how to effectively prompt and manage AI agents because this will become a core professional skill. Then, evaluate your current projects for opportunities to integrate AI automation before your competitors do. And, consider specializing in areas that complement AI capabilities rather than compete with them. Focus on strategy, creative direction, and complex problem solving that AI cannot yet handle effectively. Most importantly, begin treating AI tools as collaborative partners in your workflow rather than simple productivity enhancers because the future belongs to human AI teams and not individuals working in isolation. In conclusion, from my point of view, Google has essentially thrown down the gauntlet for the entire tech industry with these announcements. They've shown us a future where AI doesn't just assist with development work, it actively participates in every aspect of the digital creation process. Whether this represents an exciting evolution or a concerning threat depends largely on how quickly we all adapt our skills and workflows to work alongside these capabilities. The message from IO 2025 is super clear. The age of AI agents has officially begun and Google intends to lead that transformation. For developers, designers, and content creators, the question isn't whether these changes will affect our work. It's how quickly we can evolve our skills to thrive in this new paradigm. That's a wrap on our deep dive into Google I.O. 2025. If this analysis helped you understand the magnitude of what Google just announced, please like and subscribe for more coverage of the technologies reshaping our cool industry. And a big favor, please check out our website at codeprocessor.net for nice and cool micro utility tools. Until next time, guys, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next build.